In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put HClO4 plus H2O. This is perchloric acid. We're putting it in water. So the first thing that we need to recognize is this HClO4, this perchloric acid. This is a strong acid, and you really just have to memorize that. So here's a list of strong acids and strong bases. And when we look at our list, we see perchloric acid right up top. Perchloric acid is a strong acid. So because it's a strong acid, it's going to dissociate or break apart into its ions. So the H plus hydrogen will be one plus, and then the perchlorate ion. If you don't have that memorized, you want to look that up on a table of ions. The perchlorate, ClO4, has a negative charge. So we know the charges for our acid here. We also know it's an acid because the H comes in front of the compound. So now we put it in water, we split it apart into its ions, we'll get H plus plus that perchlorate ion, ClO4 minus. And this H plus, that's going to be aqueous. It's going to be dissolved in water. So will the perchlorate ion. So we put that AQ after it to show that it's dissolved in water. Sometimes you'll see water written above the arrow here as well. But since we've written the aqueous, that means it's dissolved in water. So to recap, when we put perchloric acid, HClO4, in water, we're going to end up with H plus and ClO minus. One last note, sometimes you'll see this H plus written as H3O plus. That's because the H plus will join with the water molecules to form the hydronium ion, H3O plus. Either way, you'll see it both ways. Both are accepted in chemistry. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.